In this video, I'm going to show you how to install COE Starter Kit from Microsoft site. Now, you need to visit to this URL, aka.ms slash COE Starter Kit Download. The moment you hit this URL, a zip file will get downloaded into your system. Uh, the zip file is named as COE Starter Kit zip. And once you extract that zip file in folder, you will see a whole bunch of solutions in it. Now, these uh, the zip files which you see over here are all uh, Power Platform solutions which you need to manually import one by one. There's some sequence involved in it. So you need to follow that specific sequence. Uh, there are a couple of PBIT, which is a Power BI files, uh, which uh, you need to open it in Power BI and then publish into a Power BI workspace so that your report gets published. Now, uh, what you need to do essentially is uh, you need to selectively install the components. When I say selectively means there are some sequence involved in it. First, try to install the core components first. Then you can target the audit components and other components can be installed in any sequence. So you can have innovation backlog, nurture components, ALM accelerator, admin task analysis code. So all this can be uh, installed in any other sequence as you desire. <clears throat> Post installation, you need to configure the apps. So what do you mean by that is once you install, say, examples of core components, under solutions, you need to go into that particular solution and click on apps you will find a lot of scattered model-driven app and Canvas app. Uh, you need to open that app and then start configuring the apps. So there are some apps which work independently. There are some app which configure the other apps within your tenant. For Power BI, you need to have a separate Power BI workspace whereby you can publish the Power BI reports. Now the Power BI report should be published only after all the apps are configured so that you get a correct statistics and uh, with no errors within the system. Uh, I'll try to cover uh, in more depth in my future videos about how to install Starter Kit and what all things uh, exist within a Starter Kit. Thanks for watching.